Are you working with an editable document and your fonts are not pulling through correctly and the file just isn't looking the way that it's supposed to? Hi, I'm Jennifer with Simply Kinder and today I'm going to show you how to make sure that your files are opening correctly so that you can use the editable features in our editable PDFs. Let's go ahead and get started. So the way that our editable PDFs work is that they must be opened in Adobe and a lot of times computers will default to a non-Adobe program to open the files and making files editable is a feature of Adobe and it's not something that transfers over to other programs. And so it only works if you open it in Adobe. But have no fear, Adobe is available for free on the internet and it is the PDF reader that most people use. But for some reason, a lot of computers don't upload that file as the default on their computer and that 99.9% .9 of the time is the issue. And so I can tell by looking at this file, it doesn't look the way that it's supposed to. That name is supposed to be on the line. Um, if I type an A, it's the wrong A. It actually won't even let me type. And so and now it's spinning, so you can tell that it's got all sorts of issues wrong with it. Um, but you can see that it's the, it's the wrong A for kindergarten. And so I can tell just by looking up here in the upper right, or I'm sorry, upper left-hand corner, when the file is open, that this file is open in the preview application. Now I'm on a Mac, the file is created on a Mac, but it works for Mac and PC. And the default PDF reader on a Mac is a program called Preview. And so what we have to do is we just have to tell the file to open in Adobe. Now, if you don't have Adobe on your computer, no worries. Again, we'll link for you where you can download Adobe for free from the internet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you've already downloaded the program. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna delete my copy and you can see that I have the file right here. So tip number two is to make sure that you download the file completely from your computer. Sometimes files will open and they will open up in a browser on your internet. You wanna make sure that if it's doing that and it has the little tabs at the top, that you are actually downloading it and dragging it either to your documents or I like to pull everything to my desktop so I can see exactly what I have and it's right when I where I need it when I need it. And so you'll wanna make sure that it's somewhere that you can grab it. For ease of this video, I have it on my desktop today as well. And so I'm going to need to open it in Adobe. So I'm going to right click and I'm gonna to scroll to open with. Now I already have Adobe installed on my computer and so I already have Adobe there as an option. But if Adobe is not an option in this list for you, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna pick other. And so when I go to other, it defaults to applications on my computer, but it may not do that on yours. So you'll wanna find over here wherever your application folder is stored. And then you'll select Adobe and you'll select open and it will ask you if you wanna set it as your default. I would go ahead and I would set it as your default because again, Adobe is one of the most trusted PDF readers that there is out there and most people use it anyways. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select open with and then open the file. You will only have to do it one time if you set it as your default, then when you double click on the file, it will open correctly. Now this is my Adobe program. My Adobe program is a paid pro version, but you don't need the paid pro version. You can just use the free version that's available on the internet. So my options may look a little bit different than yours on the right and along the top. But if I scroll down, you will see that it is now an editable document and I can come in here and I can edit it however I need. Edit it here. And so that's basically the main issue that people have with um, any editable document. And this isn't just for Simply Kinder resources. This is for any resource that you most likely will get um, in the digital teacher world. And so there are a few exceptions as always. And so if you do get to this point where you can see up in the upper left-hand corner that the file is opening in Acrobat or Adobe, and it is still giving you the incorrect fonts, you might need to download the files again from the teacher who created the resource. It happens every once in a while, 
And I can't explain to you why, because what we upload, where you download it yourself, and what I'm going to send you an email are the exact same file. Sometimes there just seems to be a little blip when things download. And if, if that's happening for you, you're one of the lucky ones who get, or the unlucky ones who gets to experience that. And so that brings me to the end of our little quick tutorial here. If you do need those files emailed to you, or if you are continuing to have issues getting your editable PDFs to work, please don't hesitate to reach out at jennifer at simplykinder.com. You should only have to do file open with once, as long as you set your um, files as the default to Adobe. And so hopefully this video will um, take your issue away and you will be on your way and ready to go. But again, if not, please reach out and I hope you have a great day. Bye.